everybody welcome to my channel tastefully a mother's love today i'm going to be making homemade gluten-free veggie crackers now these are the ingredients i have buckwheat multi-purpose flour poppy seeds flax seeds uh, both of these are whole and they are gluten-free um i have a tomato an onion, bell pepper, a red and yellow, excuse me, a red and orange bell pepper, and a yellow bell pepper, an avocado, celery, and carrots. Okay, as you can see here, I just cut in half of my, my yellow bell pepper. I just cut half of my green bell pepper. And I just cut half of my orange and red bell pepper. Okay, and after I half in my bell peppers, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and clean out the seeds and start just to dice them. But it really doesn't matter how big you dice them because they're going straight into into the food process. Now you can see I have in my onion, and now I'm going to just chop it up and put it in my bowl what I actually did was um, you wanna what, I, what you wanna do is um, you want at least about a half of cup of each bell of each bell pepper and about maybe a fourth to a to a third a cup of a of an onion okay now I'm gonna go ahead and and do my celery stalks chop up my celery stalks before I put them in the food processor with everything else. Now what I'm doing is I'm just cutting off the celery stock ends of them because they kind of dry out. So you want to cut those cut those ends off, those dry ends. And then I'm going to cut them down the center. And then just chop them like this. Now you should get about... I like celery, so I'm going to do a cup and a half of celery. So there's four stock for these stocks should make about a cup or just about a cup and a half. And now I'm doing my carrots. Okay, now um, they um, just just baby carrots. Before, because these are hard, I'm gonna put them in a separate container, and I'm gonna actually food process this these first, then and then I'm gonna throw the celery in next, and then I'm going to go ahead and do my onions and peppers because these are harder they may take a, a little bit longer to get to the consistency that I'm looking for but when I get it there I will let you guys see it now I'm at my half of my tomato and I'm going to just cut the center out and you want your tomatoes to be a little bit firm you don't want a mushy tomato even though you're going to be um making the cracker into the thing but you you want your food to be as as you know as good as it can be on the outside the skin and everything I'm just going to take them and cut them up before I put them in there as well okay now I'm in my avocado I'm just going to take this because you know that big seed in there and be careful with your knives because my, my knives are really sharp these are a good set of knives by the way um they really sharp i have cut myself before on these and what you want to do is you want you can take a spoon and get it out but like that is it always works for me it doesn't matter to me so okay and then <clears throat> if you're gonna cut your avocado see this is just the right consistency because I don't want a too firm avocado 
I want it well blended. But you, you want it to be firm on the outside, but it not mushy. And to take it out, all you do is you can take you a spoon. Just a spoon. It, it probably needs to be bigger, but hey, this is my... Okay, you take you a spoon and just go in there. Go around. And you should be able to get out perfect slices. Look at that. See? Just like that. And now I'm going to do my other, and that's because the, the avocado is not overripe. If the avocado is overripe, you will end up with a mushy mess. I'm going to do this one the same way, and there you go. I just scraped out the, the insides. Okay, here's everything after I cut it up and I'm getting ready to process it the carrots, the tomatoes, the celery starting to smell like Thanksgiving avocado bell peppers onions, everything is in here okay and actually it came out just the way I thought about <clears throat> now I'm going to get ready to food process it Okay, now, <clears throat> this is my food processor here. I'm going to be using this blade only. Got to take that off. It would be smart to do that. I'm going to only be using this blade. Um, <clears throat> and the top, you know, the top has to go on there before it can even work, which is good. But you have to be careful with that blade because that blade will cut the heck out of you, kids. Some grown-ups, too. Okay, um... And I'm going to actually be using the pasta chop first. And then I'm going to puree it just a little bit. And here are the carrots after I have just pasted them to chop them. You can see that. That is good enough because I'm going to be adding in the other vegetables as well. And they will incorporate it if they chop up more. So <clears throat> that is just fine. So, and here is the celery and the carrot. See? You see the celery bits in there? I'm going to scrape them off the side and now and put in my onions and bell pepper all at the same time and here is the bell peppers and onions mixed in you can see it's a lot of water so that's fine actually because I'm gonna be you will have to add water for your flour to make the type of to make the cracker the base of the cracker so with the with the juices from from the um the vegetables that means you will have to add less water you might not even need none by the time you finish and here is the um all the vegetables I, I went on and added the the avocado and the tomato and the puree and this is the consistency and as you can see the water the fruit where well, the juices you know though because it's grown from the earth the water that's naturally in here is actually um mixed in there well now so i might not have to add any water to this but what i'm going to do is i'm going to put my salt and my pepper I'm going to season it to taste. I'm going to add in a half of cup of my flour. Okay, when I listed my ingredients in the beginning, I forgot to tell you guys that I'm going to be using some virgin organic coconut oil um, because you want to have some type of oil in there so when the cracker is setting, you want to 
something to help make it crispy and it heat, you know. So you want to, you have to have to add a, a oil to it, and since it's going to be um, a raw, a homemade raw vegetable cracker, I figure that the um, the virgin coconut oil, virgin organic coconut oil, be, would be the best bet to go here. Okay, I'll show you the consistency as soon as I'm finished. Okay, now I'm going to be adding in um, about a fourth cup of poppy seeds and a fourth cup of flax seeds. Okay, I'm just going to stir them in here. Okay, now this is what I have after I um, stirred in the, 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 the flour, the wheat flour the flax seed and the poppy seed now one thing i want to tell you guys is that i forgot how small poppy seeds are when i said do one fourth a cup i actually did about i just filled up the bottom i i have a scale but i actually did not take out the scale to see how much it was because i mean everybody is different in what they like so if I put poppy seed or flax seed in mine, doesn't mean it says that's what you're going to do. So do it to your taste because these are actually like a, like a, a basically a seasoning because it gives it flavor. So do whatever you want to do with it. I mean, after you get the base and, and stuff, you, you're all okay. You'll be all right. Just add what you want in there. And then if it's too dry, you know to add water. Okay? And the same thing with the the flax seeds they're so small they look like they are very they're very small so i didn't do a full fourth a cup but i put enough in there to make sure that every cracker had a beneficial amount for myself okay and then i think i told you guys i put a a tablespoon of um of coconut oil in here and this is what i have and i did not Food process, that's food, food process in the flour or the flax seed. You want whole poppy seeds and flax seeds, and you don't want to food process your flour in there because you don't want to keep chunking up your vegetables. And this is the consistency that I have. You want to make sure that you have a nice grip of vegetables in your mouth when you, you know, when you when you're eating it or whatever. So you'll get a, like a little piece of or maybe of everything versus having little like mushy fruit I mean vegetables in here so this is what I got and I um, now in order for me to cook this I'm going to use my food dehydrator for mine um, but this can be done in regular ovens you will have to figure out your own settings for the oven though because I'm using my food dehydrated but it does just know a cracker does not go on a high setting because all you're doing is just dehydrating out the water and the juices you want to make it soak up and you want to evaporate it but you don't want and you want to make sure that the flavor is still in there so it's going to have all the flavor in there you don't want to cook it and then have a cake out of it. You don't want a cake. You want a, a, a nice, flat, nice, crisp cracker. Okay? 